All right, here we are at 94 Lombard Way, okay? Obviously, we're just coming into sheetrock and going to be working on the siding outside. Give you a little look-see between the houses. Sorry about the wind, okay? About the same size on the other side. Okay. Let's go in through the front door here. Sorry about it. i got to walk through all the dirt piles. All right, nice front porch. Nice front porch, and this is, what model is this? This is, stand by. All right. Well, you, I can't pull it up on my phone, but anyway, 94 Lombard Way. I'll make sure we put it on the, on the uh, video for you. Sorry about that. Anyway, as we come in, on the left-hand side here, got a nice dining space, used as an office, of course. Okay. And then on the right, it's kind of interesting, got a little, the wall set back a little ways, you know, kind of a nice entry space. It opens up the entry space, so that's kind of cool. Okay. And we got over, off further to the right, got some under stair storage, that's cool. And on the left, we have our powder bath as we enter. And then as we come into the main living area, we have a two-story um, TV space, gathering space. Look at this thing. It's huge. Big old transom window up there. Very stately. Looking out over the backyard there. Okay. So let me come over this way so you guys can see it. And that's going to be open from the top right there. Interesting. I'm not, not familiar with this plan. And we got the kitchen right here. It's a good sized kitchen. That's going to be a pretty massive island, it looks like. And then we got their kitchen space here overlooking the backyard. That cafe space right out in front of it. All right. More cabinet space there, of course. Uh, here we have. What looks like it's gonna be like a coat closet sort of space right in here. All right, and then our washer and dryer space here. That's right off the back door. The, the garage entry here, the owner's entry. And of course we have our, it's a two car garage, but it's double deep. This on this side over here, it's a pretty deep garage. There's lots of storage space in here. So if you had two small cars, you might even be able to get them front to back here, a little tandem action. So that's a pretty good sized garage. Before we go upstairs, let's look outside. I know having a pool, of course, as we know, is super important. Now, this is an interesting thing. We got sliding glass doors that way. Interesting. Then we got more sliding glass doors this way. So that's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen them. I'm not familiar with this plan. All right, so I was able to pull This is a Madison, Madison G. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with this plan, but they're putting an electric fireplace out here. I've never seen that in a Dreamfinder's home, so that's rather interesting to me. So that's kind of cool. But here's your backyard. Um, I think there's room for a pool. We'd have to look at a site plan, but it looks to me like there's room for a pool. Uh, this is, I want you to see what the backyard looks like. There we go. Okay. Let's go back in out of the noise. All right, so let's go upstairs. All right, let's see what we got up here. Got a little loft space that I'm standing facing right now. I'm gonna kind of come over to the right, and this is where that knee wall was. That overlooks the the second floor. Okay, little balcony wall there. So coming around the big open staircase here, it's our washer, washer and dryer space, and the mechanical room, your AC com, um, handlers. Okay. And coming in here, we have our master suite.
Here at the top end of the lake here, so you get the little lake view there, so that's kind of cool, but you do have the road, a road right there, so something to consider. All right. And coming into the master bath area, of course our bathtub, our shower space, toilet, two sinks, And of course our closet space over there. Okay. The bedroom's kind of split into two two parts, if you will. You come over here and then you got like a what appears to be like a sitting area with lots of windows. Looks like a little little niche right there of some sort. Then back over there, of course, is the bedroom area of this of the master. Okay. Interesting. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this plan. I don't think I've ever been in one before. <clears throat> Alright, where else can we go? We got other bedrooms on the other side over here. <clears throat> Looks like we got a Jack and Jill scenario going on. No, 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 my mistake. Those are walk-in closets opposite each other. A walk-in closet here in his bedroom. And then the same kind of a posing on the on the back side there of the other bedroom. That's a little small walk-in closet with like two different sides to it. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. <clears throat> and we got our bathroom over here serving these bedrooms. And then we have what looks like an ensuite going on here. Yes, in this bedroom. So we have the ensuite bath and then of course the walk-in closet for it. All right, very cool. Right. Okay, this is 94 Lombard. All right, there you go. All right, good information, and we'll keep moving. Hey, let's go back outside for a second. I want you guys to see, truly see the back of this house. Because this, this double door thing here is kind of interesting to me. I want to make sure you have as much information on that as possible. So there's the back of the house. And we got the area with the fireplace they're putting in. And we have this area over here. Um, so it's interesting. I've never seen that before. Maybe that would be a good place for a barbecue grill. I'm not sure. I've got the sliding glass doors right there. So, all right. All right, gang. Thanks.